Hi, I'm Taylor Rizzo. I'm a registered dietitian at Beltline Health, and I'm here today to talk to you about vitamin deficiencies after surgery. Um, vitamin deficiencies can be a really big and very serious problem after your surgery. There are some people that go into surgery with vitamin deficiencies already, so if you are thinking about surgery or in the pre-op time, it's really important to talk to your doctors to make sure that you get the correct supplementation to go into surgery with normal uh, vitamin levels, because after surgery, it can be kind of a high risk. Um, there are a lot of different vitamins that can be kind of risky, but there are some very important ones after surgery that can that are you know very common and, and can cause a lot of problems long term, such as B12 is a very common one, B1 or thiamine iron, vitamin D, and if you're having the surgery, uh, the duodenal switch surgery, the DS surgery is what a lot of surgeons will call it, you're very high risk for getting um, uh, a, a deficient in vitamins A, D, E, and K. So make sure that you work very closely with your physician, your surgeon, um, and your dietitian to make sure you're getting the right vitamins for your surgery because again, there are a lot of nuances with each surgery to make sure that you're getting the right, um, the right intake every day. Um, after surgery, of course, deficiencies are very, um, can be common, it's not, it's not an automatic thing but can be common especially if you're not taking your correct vitamins but it's because you can't intake enough food because your stomach is smaller so you physically cannot get enough vitamins into your system and for the more malabsorptive surgeries like the bypass duodenal switch surgeries you physically can't absorb them in your system as well so again taking the correct supplements will help to prevent those deficiencies that can more easily develop after those surgical procedures um, like I mentioned some common ones the B12 the B1 those are ones that we definitely, um, you know, really pay close attention to. Your um, physician's office should be taking your labs every six months or about twice a year. That's kind of what we'll check to make sure that there's, you know, good markers that your that your vitamin levels are looking good. And if they're not, we'll supplement you a little bit differently going forward to make sure that we can adjust um, your vitamin levels to meet the correct ranges. Um, so make sure that you're doing those, and also make sure that you're having those labs done with your bariatric office. The labs that we check for are different than what your primary care doctor may check for. So make sure you're following up and having regular check-ins with your bariatric team specifically. Um, these vitamins, um, the reason that the deficiencies are so important to make sure that we prevent them is they have long-term effects. And one of the biggest challenges is vitamin deficiencies can be hard to catch early on. And once you already have the problems developing from the deficiencies, it's kind of too late. So for example, with calcium, sometimes if you skip taking your calcium for a month, you feel fine. But after years and years of doing that, some people have their teeth breaking and falling out or your bones break really easily. And at that point, you've already had the broken bone, you've already had the dental issue, Issues. and of course you can try to prevent any further issues going forward but the damage has kind of been done in your system so really making sure that even if you're feeling wonderful you don't think anything is wrong you just oh, I'm gonna skip my vitamins today make sure that that is one of the top priorities of your day is to get those bariatric vitamins into your system to prevent those deficiencies um, Deficiencies can range from feeling severely lethargic, having a lot of fatigue, lower immune system, to really aggressive things like memory loss and cognitive issues and, and vision loss, things like that. So again, there's a wide range of, of symptoms, but some of them will pop up earlier than others. So the best way to prevent any of them from happening is making sure you're taking your vitamins every single day. Um, Another common concern with vitamin deficiencies that we get a lot in the office is hair loss, especially amongst our women um, patients. So hair loss is a really big concern um, just because it doesn't feel good when your hair is coming out and, and it can be a big worry. So a big piece of hair loss is making sure your protein intake is there. So that's one big piece, but the vitamins are also a really big piece. And the hair loss is a sign of vitamin deficiency because your body doesn't have the right nutrients to support your, your organs health, your, your hair health kind of thing. So making sure you're taking your correct vitamins is really important to kind of preventing that sort of, again, somewhat mild side effect of a vitamin deficiency. Um, sometimes hair loss can is not preventable. As you lose weight very quickly, that can kind of be just part of the surgery process, but long term, that should not be an issue as long as you're taking your correct doses. And if it is, again, it's a sign of vitamin deficiency. So make sure you're taking all the different vitamins that you need to be. Deficiencies do not feel good, they don't look great. Um, and again, your physicians and um, bariatric teams will be helping you to prevent those from developing in the first place. Um, the other important thing is taking your vitamins is really important to prevent deficiencies, but eating well is really, really essential too. These are supplements to your diet, so making sure that you're eating good fruits and veggies, getting your protein in, getting some whole grain starches into your diet is also essential to making sure that these deficiencies don't develop because different vitamins help other ones absorb and they work all in balance together in your system. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.